It's not too difficult to figure out how to run fast while dribbling a basketball, especially for players of the sport who need such a skill to play to their full potential. However, basketballs normally stay within, well, a basketball court, as the only things that should be hitting the track are your feet or your face depending on the day. With the ever-growing popularity of unconventional miles, it was only a matter of time before people realized that running a full-on mile with a basketball is pretty difficult, and eventually, it became so competitive and captivating to attempt where it's now a legitimately difficult difficult record to claim. Let's take a look at the brief history of the basketball mile world record. Sometimes, records will normally be sought after once they see it appear as a Guinness World Record. And in 2018, a man by the name of Colin Shaver ran a time of 6.57 on May 24th, 2018. The first video of a record, however, wouldn't happen until the summer of 2019, where someone by the name of Arthur Liu documented the first sub-six basketball mile with a time of 5.54. While this time was definitely a solid starting point, there was certainly some room for improvement. He had a little bit of trouble balancing the basketball and running at the same time, and his lap times were a bit convoluted. Coincidentally, another man had uploaded a basketball mile video shortly after, where Walt Johnson ran a time of 5.51, beating it by 3 seconds. His splits are a lot more even than Lou's, and he's dribbling with his left hand the entire time, but only just nudged the record with these tactics. Just a couple weeks later, a former Olympian would get his hands on it, and this would turn an underground challenge into quite the trendy record to go for. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I can see Tiana and I just want to get to that finish line. Fingers crossed it's a new world record. 529! A new world record. But like I always say, records are made to be broken. So I'm challenging you out there, whether you're a basketball player, a runner, or anything, go out to your local track and beat my record of 529. On August 23rd, 2019, 800-meter world champion silver medalist Nick Simmons uploaded a video where he claimed to have broken the basketball mile world record. Interestingly enough, the time he's referencing is a 6.06, despite two people already having broken this barrier. This means that this was likely yet another coincidence where someone just decided to upload a video of themselves attempting this seemingly random record, as all three of these videos are a month apart from each other, despite none of them knowing the previous marks existed. Even though Nick ran a time of 5.20, there were some mishaps throughout this record. Not that there is a formal rule set or anything, but he completely went out of lane one going into the last lap, and there were times where the basketball would bounce twice before he dribbled again, which is kind of hard to call dribbling at that point. Regardless, this was the new set-in-stone standard that everyone was advised to go for, and given the immense reach this video got, plenty of people came out of the woodwork over the coming weeks to shoot their shot. Such a bad line. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. Just within a couple weeks, a few athletes had already put up stellar times well below Simmons' record, as a couple broke the 5-minute barrier already, one of those being Thomas Showerman with a 452. Given he was a strictly 800 guy going into this with no formal mile racing experience, this time was very respectable. Going through the first lap in 70, and the halfway point in 220, Showerman would slow up quite a bit on the third lap, but still managed to bring it home with a time that would be unbeatable for quite a while. That was, until an era hit the track and field community, that would inspire a whole new wave of people to attempt this record yet again. When the pandemic rolled around in March 2020, this obviously cut many athletes' careers short, and many were forced to adapt their training to the cancellation of everything. Once the weather got warmer, and athletes were eager to get on the track whether races were happening or not, a new record would be set by Timothy Dye, with a six-second gap over the previous mark, running 446 on May 1st, 2020. Dye's splits were pretty even all around, as it now seemed like more experienced milers were getting their hands on the record, which means more diligent athletes of the event were going to have to stand up. Just Two weeks later, though, UNC coach Dylan Sorensen lowered it nine more seconds to a 437, with again very even splits, with his slowest lap only being a 71 on lap two. Good job. Love it. How much? I'd like to challenge anybody else who would like to take this on. It was no easy task, especially trying to kick while dribbling the basketball, but. They say age is just a number. It's true, baby. 30, but we're stronger than ever. 
The basketball mile record would see another brief hiatus, but in July, a 16-year-old kid by the name of Tennessee Tremaine would run the basketball mile in 4.33. Then in September, another person, Thomas Cerrito, ran 4.33. And then in November, Sorensen also ran 4.33. The reason why I don't mention specific times here is because the latter two claim to have broken the record by hundreds of a second. But the tricky thing is that since there is no formal starting timer, or the fact that none of these videos have efficient camera angles to time the ending, it's more fit to simply throw all these times into one cohesive tie. There wouldn't have to be any debate about this for long, because Max Arrow now would break up the trio by running 430 on the dot, running an incredibly strong back half with a 208-800. After this time, no one could seem to run much faster, and once track meets started popping up actively again, it also became a bit more difficult to find milers fast enough to even attempt it in the first place. 2021 as a whole virtually had no close attempts, or really any attempts at all, until a high school senior came out of nowhere in May of 2022. Ryan Bennett had just come off of a 4.10 mile PR at his state championship meet and decided he wanted to do one last mile race to cap off his senior year. He takes his attempt out in 62, but comes back in 69 to go through the half in 211. Quite a bit of cushion for the record, but as his third lap was 71, this meant that he was going to need a little less than a 68 to secure the record. With this, the 430 barrier had been broken in the basketball mile. Thanks to a solid camera angle for the finish and some hand time conversions using the Michigan rule, we can solidly say that Ryan Bennett is the first person to run a sub 430 mile while dribbling a basketball. As we've seen before though, a record is quite tempting to take back once it's been broken by an amount that's possible to improve on. And in the middle of October this year, Max Aronow came back to the track to officially close the basketball mile history books out with this time. Nice and strong, nice and strong. 11, 12, nice. Looking good, looking 14 good. At the line. Wow, Grant's giving him more. Stay focused. Here we go, here we go. 319. Come on, what do you got left? Let's go, let's go. Time to kick. 428 is where the record remains today. On the women's side, BYU's Whitney Orton broke the five-minute barrier in September of 2020, and this has yet to be beaten. What started out as a curiosity-driven gimmick on YouTube eventually transpired into a competitive record among plenty of athletes, to the point where very experienced milers are now the only candidates that can pull this off. Maybe next spring, someone will rise to the occasion and attempt to lower it further, but until then, this has been the history of the Basketball Mile World Record, and thanks for watching. Thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel, and if you want to support the channel for more track and field content like this, come on over and become a patron, drop a sub, and peep the Instagram too. I'll see you on whatever video I upload next, and take care.